Energy consultant Shesong Kwade joins us now to uh, shed more light on this. Shesong, good morning. It's nice morning, to see you. Mike. Good morning. Yeah, morning. There. Anytime there is the call to increase price of anything at all, it is always met with uh, mixed feelings and uh, resistance on one hand. But talk to us generally. Uh, we, in, in, in looking at it very objectively and holistically, what is giving rise to this uh, increase now? Yeah, uh, if we, from the preview of what you just shared this morning, mm -hmm. we know this is affecting the distribution company who are the last resort to the masses. Mm -hmm. uh, of the three cadres, we have the generation to transmission and the distribution. Mm -hmm. And you see there's an handshake between them. The generation uh, sector generates this electricity of which as at uh, October, we have about five, uh, over 5,000 megawatts, mm -hmm. give it to the transmission, and the transmission invariably pass it down to the disco. And it's at cost to them. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in 2008, NEC came out with a framework on MITO, mm -hmm. of which we expect that the, th th that was the transition period when they were planning for the privatization, so that it can enhance the stakeholders to recoup their cost over time. But uh, in 2015, the framework came into materiality, mm -hmm. and we saw them playing into the, but the last time, the, the, the MITO itself, ordinarily, supposed to be an increase every six, six months, okay. so that it can cater for the uh, technical losses and allow the investors to recoup back their cost, so that there won't be this periodic increase in the elect uh, electricity tariff. Mm -hmm. But what have we observed? The government, based on people's reaction, has not consistently monitored this. The last time we had an hike in electricity tariff was February 27, uh, 2017, of which we are supposed to have a major shift in MITO every five, five years uh, and the, every the six months. MITO is the multi-year tariff Mo order. Yeah, order, yeah. Okay. Of which there is a, 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 a small increase every time mm. for the investor to recoup their cost. Mm. But what have we seen? Since 2017 till date, there has not been any increase. As we speak, majority of the distribution company cannot after making the obligation to the market operators, cannot even fulfill certain obligations. So many of them struggle to even pay salary, not to take care of the contractors. So you discover that the promise given by the regulators of increasing certain um, uh, increase to mm. cover for their cost and make those things stabilize was not done in the last two years. Mm. And quite pathetic that they are now coming with <laughs> a big sledgehammer. Mm. Because if this is not introduced by now, Mike, I can assure you, in the next, in, uh, by, by the end of this year, most of those discos will go bankrupt. Really? They will. All right, so, so, so that is to say, to put it very, you know, very simply, the increase is, is, is a good thing. It's, it's what I've been planned for, okay. just that it's not been implemented before now. Okay. But then, what would it change? Because Nigerians are asking the question that if... The, the, if the electricity was available, perhaps they would accept this increment because mm. according to report, Nigerians spend 5.1 trillion naira to generate their own electricity. Now you are still hiking the uh, percentage that, of, uh, on this. Now. That, that is where we expect the masses to do. The stakeholders, the essence of MITO is for them to invest and recoup. You see, the, the, the problem we have in Nigeria holistically is what is affecting the power sector. There are infrastructure deficiency, which has not met up to what is expected of them. Every of the new investors have not invested so much in the infrastructure. How many transformers have, been, have they been able to replace? How many have they been able to provide? You discover that at the time it was difficult for them when the, the citizen were yearning for meters. Mm -hmm. They could not provide the same thing until we venture into the meter asset uh, provided right, scheme, yeah. maps. And that was given to individuals to make provision to aid what the discos are doing. So invariably, the disco themselves has not met up to their obligation. It's only in this part of the, the, the country, let me say Lagos, that you enjoy electricity. Go to the rural areas, 
you still discover, there was a survey I can't read out. You discover that there are so many places where you have wood that they use in carrying their supply. Some people are using as low as 5 mm, 10 mm to carry. In fact, most people are now applying and getting the meter, but they cannot use it. Why? Because the voltage that's supplied to their house is not okay. And the discos are not responding to this, which invariably is making them to lose revenue. Because what that we amount to is the technical loss. You are getting supply from the TCA, but the people you are supplying are not enjoying that facility. But you still need to pay for it. Yeah. That is the problem. Well, in, in, in all of this, there, has, there hasn't been value for money as far mm -hmm. as Nigerians are concerned. Yes. They, Correct. They are, not, they, are not, they are not seeing value for money. Correct. That is not also to say that the, the Jenkos are not, the Jenkos are generating sometimes even more than what the infrastructure can carry. That, yes. that, is, that is the reason for major collapse that we get to. All right. Yeah. Now, but as it is right now, if we have to balance things up, where would the overall solutions come from? Is it in the area of meter provision where, okay, if you give me two naira worth of electricity, I pay two naira worth of electricity? Mike, I have said it uh, sometimes ago on this program that it is not the issue of meter. Okay. Meter is to measure what you get. Mm. Ask average but that's the, person, final, that's the final user. Ask average person mm. that even have the meter okay. in some remote area in Lagos. Mm. I don't want to go to those other parts of the country. Mm. In Lagos, some remote areas, some people have meters, but they are not even enjoying the supply. Because in the meters that you're talking about, there's a threshold of which if the voltage go below that, mm. the meter will not supply. Mm -hmm. And what we are getting is that they have actually supplied that uh, uh, power to that area of which you are supposed to equip the money. The fundamental thing that we should start for is the connection policy of every area to infrastructure improvement. See, the transformer that most of these areas have gotten, 1976 is what they are still using. So many people go extra mile to get this infrastructure. And you and I know that any infrastructure that you provide for the utility company, it's not your property. Is mm. the property. Mm. And there has not been a common ground where when masses invest, they are you, you are going to you know you are mm. going to put that in your own balance sheet yeah. as your asset, mm. but it's the customer they are paying for it. So they must improve their infrastructure to make sure that the masses get the supply accordingly. That is when the meter can work. As we speak, so many people have the meter and it's not working. But it's to the advantage of the masses. What we what we invariably happen. You are not supplying me. I'm not using your supply. So I'll make use of alternative supply, not the old style, that the supply is not there. I am paying estimated billing, mm -hmm. and at the same time, I'm using my generator mm -hmm. or other alternative source. But here, I've gotten a meter. You, you see some people, they will tell you that, ah, this prepaid is good for me. Why? I bought 5,000 in the last three months. Mm -hmm. I've not even finished it. Mm -hmm. Compared to those period where they will give me estimated billing of 8,000 per month, mm -hmm. yeah. what has happened? The guy is actually utilizing, paying for what he's using. And where there are drops in voltage and you are not responding, it's none of their business. You are not getting value for it. And this is what has choked them. The, the message is for the disco to improve the infrastructure they are using in providing service to the people. More people are asking for meter. Mm -hmm. And the more meter that are provided, the more their revenue windows die. Because if the voltage is not okay, definitely nobody will pay for it. Mm. That is the regulation from NEC. So the, the, the Jankos and Discos, uh, reports had it uh, about a month or so ago when they were requesting for about 1.2 trillion a bailout. Mm. Will there be justification for that kind of a bailout right now? You see, every bailout that we've had in the power sector have not been properly monitored. And uh, I, I will tell people, most of the people that even took over the discourse does not have full knowledge, full understanding of the business itself. Power sector is so secluded that you must have the basic understanding of the operation before you venture into it. Five years down the drain, what improvement have we gotten? Majority of them are actually complaining because it is just like a cosmetology. They, they cosmetic it mm -hmm. and make it look as if it's viable. It is beyond what we see on the surface of the paper. It's beyond what the balance sheet is given to you. They, they transform, you know, of every asset there are depreciation. Majority of the infrastructure that we have for the disco have been overstretched, sincerely speaking, and they need replacement. And this is cost effect, is, is, is costly mm. to, to, to be carried mm. out. Yeah. So we are requesting that if Actually, they have said that they need more revenue. 
people are ready to pay. People are actually paying for meter every day. Mm. Absolutely. They want the meter. But now, it's to the advantage of the masses. And that's why you see their revenue knows diving. And it's pretty difficult for them to meet up their obligation. I'm sure that's why they ran to NEC but, for this interest. But are there to, implications to, to this increment? There are serious implications to it. Mm. Sincerely speaking, we need to balance it. If this is not carried out now, you know, like I said, there's supposed to be every uh, uh, increase every six, six months in a very small issue. We're supposed to be where they are moving us to by now. But this was not infected since 2017. Mm. After February seven, uh, 2017, we're supposed to have another one in July. Have another one 2018, January, another one July. But because of the pol uh, uh, politics, and they know definitely the masses will react. That was put on hold. But it has strangled the activities of the disco for them to even meet up with their obligation. Mm -hmm. And that's why this reaction of increasing the tariff, definitely you expect the masses to, yeah. to react. Mm -hmm. But the advice is that if the meters are available, there is no need for anybody to Of yeah. course, the meters are available. There are, there there are, are, distribution? There are, there are made in Nigeria meters that Absolutely. are all over the place. There are companies who make the companies making electric meters are ready to distribute. They are ready to how many people can afford the cost of that meter mic? It's right. only in so, Lagos that okay. can be it's done. All right. That's <laughs> another perspective <laughs> to it. <laughs> if you look at the papers this morning, there has been a reaction from uh, the NERC so far when uh, uh, one of the political parties, PDP, said that uh, they cannot increase tariffs right now. It's going to certainly put hardship on Nigerians. And it seems from the reports, they, de they already denied and said, well, they have to do consultation before all of this. Now, if that report is anything to go by, do you think anything is wrong with the way these things are communicated to Nigerians? Yeah, I, I think there, is a, there are two levels to this uh, report from NEC. Mm. The implementation of the new tariff. We, it's going to come on board by April 1st. Okay. But there is this settlement platform from uh, the DISCO to the MBEF of which paying 100% of what is being given to them. That mm -hmm. takes effect from January 1st. Okay. So there are two wings to eat. Mm -hmm. So the other aspect that has to do with the masses will take effect from April 1st. And I think that's why they're reacting to the publication that they're going to do wide consultation. But you know, an average Nigerian, once something is pushed out, uh, they've, they've wet an appetite. But, but, but shouldn't, the, shouldn't the agencies, especially when it has to do with when you're representing government mm. and a, a policy of that kind, shouldn't they be used to this, how Nigerians are going to react, to be able to know how to communicate to Nigerians appropriately so they don't misunderstand? Yeah, you, you see, they understand Nigeria mm. and they have given it the way... <laughs> They feel we'll get the best. <laughs> Did you see them telling you they are increasing by 20%? Because they have to go high, negotiation will come, mm. and they can have a good leverage. So they've, they've told us the increase is going to be about 78, between 75, 78%. And uh, definitely labor will react because we are, going, we are facing VAT increase, mm -hmm. all this increase. So mm. they can, that's why they've gone that high. Then we come to the negotiation table and see how we can go further. But that is on one side. The area we want to concentrate more is for the uh, stakeholders in the distribution company to work on their connection policy. As we speak, you will see that every area looks like uh, cobwebs. Mm. And there is no how you can improve your <laughs> revenue. <laughs> Average area you go looks, how, how can you trace a particular customer? Mm. Net, neat network connection gives you a direct way to, to, to trace even fault. Mm. But these days, <laughs> I remember those days, those olden days, mm. when you need to clean cobwebs. Mm. If you put your ends to catch one thing, another thing will trap you up. Yeah. Same is applicable. So if you must work, we have request that there should be an infrastructure development and start from the connection policy. Where do you start? Somebody wants to build a house. You should have an ar architecture of how the connection should be from its DB to the pole. Once you have some of those infrastructure in place, it makes the work very easier. 
this issue of infrastructure development is a discussion we've been having for years. It will continue, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I be, mean, be, because are you, are you saying there's no hope for a change? I, I oh, the, the problem implies that the government invests in something and they don't monitor. If you are giving, if I'm giving you money to go and set up some things, I should be able to follow through that what we are giving to you, you are doing to it. We've had several bailouts to some of these distribution mm. company, and up to now, how many of them have provided the distribution in your network? M Mike, you, you mm. stay in Lagos in Ekorudu here. I'm sure people will complain to you that they don't enjoy electricity. They voted level. Are, we, are you saying that company. over the years, we didn't know that enforcement and monitoring mm. has been our challenge that we should tackle over time? It is, but we shy away from it. Am I going to monitor those things for them? You are the one that gave them the money, which is the government. They should be able to put the monitoring mechanism. It's not on my own part to do that. But when you know somebody is going to check what you are doing, mm. invariably you do what is needful and you'll be able to get value for it. As I'm talking to you, we need to balance it. If this increase is not put in place, despite that it's going to affect the masses, I, by the end of this year, most of these disco will go bankrupt because it's difficult for them. Now they've put it on their toes that they must pay 100% for TCA, mm -hmm. who provides the, 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 the electricity to them. Ha, and once that is meet up, okay. you cannot meet up. All right, if for them to meet up now their obligation as to what they are supposed to do, Apart from getting or sourcing the monies from the customers, what is wrong with them sourcing the monies from loans and other investors who should come into the, uh, come into the stream? Mm. Other investors that should come in place, mm. see, the first thing we must do is understand what the problems are. We are yet to identify the problem. And it goes beyond... Is it so difficult to identify? I mean, we've been dealing with these issues for see, generations. So, some of the problems are known to the disco. But we shy away from it. If you've traveled out of this country in developed country, even go to Lome, go to Kutono Day, the way they connect their supply is not what we have. If you look at Lagos, that we call urban area, mega city, mm. and you see the connection that we have is, is an ISO. Mm. There is no how you, and what you need to do is to first streamline that. Make sure that you have the right connection that you can easily trace things. Once that is done, you'll be able to measure. There are so many, there are energy thefts. And mm. it's difficult mm. to monitor this if you don't have the right uh, connection. If you have those cobwebs, how do you monitor it? It's difficult. So the disco must take up the responsibility. Use, I, 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 I'm not even talking aspect of uh, uh, the utility alone. Government, like Lagos State, should intervene. If you are seeking for mega city and you're having such cobwebs around, it doesn't speak well of what we are talking about. So the connection policy, where you have good architecture, if you want to beat a face me, I slap you building, this is the kind of structure it should be. If you want to have a duplex, this is the way it should be. And with that, you'll be able to trace it. And once that is done, it will work and improve your revenue because mm. you'll be able to know the number of people that you have on a particular transformer, mm. how you're going to do the load shedding, if you're going to buy more transformers. Well, but, 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 but putting that responsibility on the state government now is going, going to have a lot of implication. Because it's, it's just to give a support because Lagos State is right? working on improving the, the, the stake of its citizen. Right. So right. you should give it that uh, a plus to it. From some of the newspaper reports that we are getting, uh, it seems there is a way the NERC is saying, no, that's not exactly how we mean. There's, there's, there's a way Nigerians don't understand how these things play out. They will just know that there's going to be an increase oh. and they're taking it hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> now, let's look at the issue of inflation rate. Let's look at the issue of minimum wage and all of that. A lot of people are accusing government already that these are all ways to ensure that they take the monies they are giving out as minimum wage. Yeah. I expect the reaction of, of an average Nigerian to be that. Because if you look at uh, the government increasing the minimum wage to 30,000, of which we are, uh, we are yet to get the payment yet, we were told that they so, would so, do so, by so, Some are getting already. In fact, uh, we understand on, that on, some... On, until where we have the old 36... Salary, some people have... Uh, okay. Until we have the old 36 state paying that, exactly. that's where we can say everybody is implementing <laughs> okay. it. We know some states are already paying mm -hmm. that. And uh, looking at the increase in VATs, increase in consumption tax yeah. and all sorts, yeah. and you are now coming again with increase in electricity. Mm -hmm. You see, these are basic amenities 
every Nigeria is expected to enjoy, but we are not enjoying it. So there is questioning board that this government is not uh, masses friendly. They are, they are kind of hostile to us. On the electricity that we're talking about, the Ike, we have suggested, you know, the security people are clamoring for community policing. We can do the same thing even for the power sector because it seems to be too big on their part mm. to monitor, to get to the, the inner parts of some of the areas of their coverage. Of a truth, they might tell you they have business units close to you, from the business unit to the undertaking, mm. but it seems not to be working. We, we, we have put a position to neck in a situation where an area can be given to an investor. It will save the face of the utility company as a whole. Because, you know, it's just one person that will be paying you the disco who you are supplying to. And that person is able to monitor. Pro he, he will be in that vicinity. You know, you don't, so you're you, talking like a community power, power system. Yeah, where you know, the, 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 coverage the, area, the company knows the community, the community knows the company. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So with that, you'll be able to, we'll be able to ask you, if, mm. if you are the one managed, Mike, we are not having supply, what's the problem? Mm. But these days you discover that people will complain for weeks, for months, there are no reaction from the people and they are bound to revert. So we have, we have asked that, ask people, there are good investors who wants to make money. Give back to the community. Let them have a coverage. And with that, you'll be able to monitor. Speaking about investors, because uh, that is one aspect that Nigerians have complained about, especially their capacity, where they, this uh, was privatized and people came out to say that they could handle this. Yet we are still seeing government intervention and now we are still seeing a hike in electricity. The questions have a reason as to, okay, what really is the privatization about? Is there, who are these good investors that... <laughs> <laughs> you are pointing out that didn't see that they should have taken the opportunity at the time. I, I, I'll, I'll tell you this, that the privatization of, uh, of uh, the distribution company to us was not properly done. Yeah. The investors, you see, for people outside, some people will tell you, don't come and tell us that this sector are going to bankruptcy because they yes. make huge hell of money mm -hmm. from the estimated billing. But I can tell you authoritatively that those money that you think that they make is not up to what they have to pay to the people that give them those, those uh, uh, supply, the TCA. So they are really in shambles. But because you and I pay huge cost, and because everything in Nigeria is being subsidized, that's why they introduced MITO, so that we can gradually, gradually move from a specific place to the, other, to the other side. But because of the political affiliation, those things were put on store. So we want to encourage a situation where we have a local coverage, give it to people, let them manage. The disco will only collect their money. So it becomes the headache of the investor managing that locality to provide the basic thing. All the cobwebs we are talking about, it will be able to streamline it, provide meter for you to measure what you want to do, mm. and the disco will be relieved. All right. All right. At the end of the day, Nigerians just, just want meters, give us, value let us get money. value for money. Mm -hmm. Value for money is what Nigerians, Arafta. all the technicalities of who does what, they are not nobody interested. wants to know. The <laughs> point <laughs> is, those are left for experts and engineers and all of those. And that's why we said, give us lights and let us have light. Let the expert penetrate into the process mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and not just sell and give to who knows who. Okay. Then right. we can make things work. All right. All right. Thank you very much, Yeson Okwade, for coming on the program.